गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स सस्वयाकाल आदाब ना दीज वीडियोज विच आई एम मेकिंग इन दिस बाइटिंग कोल्ड ऑफ अम्बाला आ बेसिकली बेस्ड ऑन रजिस्ट्रेशन डॉक्यूमेंटेशन अंडर वॉट एक्ट और गवर्नर जनरल ऑर्डर्स प्रायर टू द टी पी ए एक्ट और द रजिस्ट्रेशन एक्ट विच आई मैंशन अर्लियर so how come these registries were being made in 1845 or 1850 if you laid hands on when there was no act so you know title deeds which is the testimony to the level of subversion and breach of laws with particular reference to a land revenue act we have five land revenue acts in india punjab bengal bombay madras and avadh that's the madhya bharat and then devolving of rights is in severe jeopardy restoration as deemed periodically since cla rules 1925 37 rule 3 4 10 45 have not been observed in proper obedience the title deed is not representative the original rights lawfully as it was legally subverted under influence of the cantonment authority also supported by record of rights under so and so pages therefore this do or the mo is hand in glove with the constitution of an unlawful criminal conspiracy that has been used to subvert over rights favoring government when government has no rights other than that given to them under cla rule 4 category land 3 forming managing the sanitation taxation building safety purpose only by cant board whereas the do is merely assigned under rule 10 and 45 the management of glr only during government of india being a lessee in the property is to be treated as a public premises and managed by the do till the restoration of a status quo till it has been derequisitioned now these lines i have read from the rules now what do they say please understand do you know i came across a lot of registries during my time there was a banglo in ambala i came across his registries which said the acquisition of rights were to be purchased by the cantonment board under the cantonment fund during that period it was very clear no grant could have been sold or if it had to be sold it had to be very clearly to be registered if it was a grant so these words which have been used called purchase acquired you know and various how how do you interpret these if they are written under law lexicon in these various ggos or in your sale deeds which i have been insistently telling everybody please find your old record remember those four cut dates 1938 1925 1912 and 1899 please till 1864 onwards it was the cantonment magistrate who was entrusted the duty of registering all your sale deeds whether it was from a military officer to a military officer on a presumption of a ggo 179 or it was from a military officer to the native by the permission of the commander in chief please find your documents now we will discuss lands now this sale deed which i dug out of ambala of a bungalow you know if you see that if it had to be a grant these grants had to be of fixed size now they were never of the fixed size they could have varied from 9 acres 8 acres 7 acres 2 acres 1.3 acres 
So what are we trying to do? Read the PWD uh, Regulation Code of 1858, which rebrushes us to 1809 uh, Code, which says all this. So proprietary rights of an owner, are they to be endorsed by the department or the department does not need to say that? It is claiming that the proprietary rights are held by them. Go by the rule, where is it written in CLA rule that for all this a record of right has to be made? Now in Ambala there was a record of rights made. But we have to understand why there was a record of right. The simple reason that there were no settlements of 1846 as per the cantonment rules in these cantonments. So when there was no settlements done, which land did the British army acquire from and whom? By just saying that because you won through war or you acquired these lands through a treaty or because we were slaves. You know, you have to understand the word sovereign. The sovereign and sovereignty. My Raja's sovereignty transferred to the British. But during that was my grant or my old grant as my being a sovereign also transferred. No, there are n number of judgments on this. That a sovereignty by war does not make that the rights of an individual have also transferred. So my sovereignty didn't transfer. It was my Raja's sovereignty after a war being declared or a treaty of a skeet. So friends, please understand all this. Now this para is very important and you need to really work hard on these videos which I am. These are educated videos. These are not videos which glamour and uh, I'm just talking. I'm talking sense. I'm talking law. So once again, I'm saying we were never converted into new grants. That is why we were called old grants. And these grants were given to us prior to 1765. Thank you. Good day.